I am Jean Casimir Perrier, the fifth president of the French Third Republic, and I played a significant role in the political landscape of France during the late 19th century. My story begins on November 8, 1847, in Paris, France, where I was born into a prominent and politically active family. My father, Casimir Pierre Perrier, was a statesman who served as Prime Minister of France during the July Monarchy. From a young age, I was exposed to the world of politics and public service, and I inherited my family's commitment to Republican ideals. I received a comprehensive education and pursued studies in law and political science. This educational background laid the foundation for my future career in politics. As I entered adulthood, France was undergoing a period of political upheaval, with shifting governments and a struggle for power between Republicans and monarchists. I began my political career as a moderate Republican, and I was elected as a deputy to the National Assembly in 1876. Over the years, I developed a reputation as a skilled orator and a pragmatic politician. My ability to navigate the complex political landscape of the Third Republic earned me the respect of my peers. In January 1894, following the assassination of President Sadi Carnot, I was elected as the President of France by the National Assembly. My presidency was marked by a commitment to stability and the preservation of Republican institutions. I believe that the presidency should be a unifying force in French politics, working to bridge the divides between various factions. During my presidency, I faced significant challenges, including economic troubles and the rise of nationalist and anti-Semitic movements in France. I worked to maintain the authority of the presidency while upholding Republican values. However, the political climate remained turbulent. In June 1895, I made the decision to resign from the presidency, citing ongoing political conflicts and the strain of the office on my health. My resignation marked the first time in French history that a president had voluntarily left office. Félix IV succeeded me as president. After leaving the presidency, I largely withdrew from politics and lived a quieter life. I passed away on March 11, 1907, in Paris. My legacy is one of a dedicated Republican who sought to navigate the challenges of the Third Republic and uphold its democratic principles. While my presidency was relatively brief, it represented a period of transition and adaptation in French politics, as the Republic continued to evolve amidst internal and external pressures.